you're trying to lay with this woman, man, they crazy because they, they thought they had the elder position. You could just abuse your authority, man. Nah, I don't go that with the most high, not a respected person. Right. How do you know that? If, if they were elders, they know the story of King David. All right, King David, he tried to get over on Uriah the Hittite. But Uriah the Hittite was, I think, the least of the mighty men. See? When they go into the mighty men, his name was mentioned last. See? But then the most I just offer him. And nobody knew about it except for um, King David, man. You see? But then the most I just turned the cheek and like, all right, it is what it is. No, no. He chastised him for it, man. See? But David got what? At the end of all that ass whipping that he got, he received mercy. mercy. The show of mercies of David. Because huh. David Hart, man, David, them Psalms, man, David was yeah. always praising the Haobah Shemiah Shah, man. Always, man. And his high moments, his low moments, he wanted to even build a temple. See? Verse 10, when Yahweh Shai had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are the children? Where are the This real point. Done. Keep reading now. Yeah. Tell her go and sin no more. Yep. All right. Um, then spake Yahweh Shai again into them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Mm -hmm. And the Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. Whether I go, you cannot tell whence I come, and whether I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. Mm, what verse is that? That was verse uh, 16. Yeah, read on down. Let me hear. Done. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bear witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Yahweh shall answer, Ye neither know me nor my father. You don't know me or your father, man. And that's what we're saying now. Them guys, they say Yahweh about Shemel Shah, but they don't know him. They don't know him, man. Right? You don't know the wrong side, man. Okay? Yeah, that's what he said. Not everyone that sent me, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, shall enter the kingdom of the Most High. See, go ahead. Uh, I am Saga. Okay, verse 19. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father, Yahusha? Answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. You would have known my father. You would have known Yahweh. You would have known Yahweh. Uh -huh. Had you known me, you'd have known the most high, man. That's right. Okay. Alright. And then and obviously, if you say these guys teach you these strange doctrines. Doctrines of devils, they don't know the most side, man. He blinded them. See? And this and you see what happened to Comfy. The most side dropped his ass, man. Yep, yep. In 2020, man. That was crazy too. That was judgment too. When they went down to the rundown of what happened in 2020, they should have mentioned that too. You know what I'm saying? You know, most side dropped his ass, man. And he never got to correct that. See, that's a stain on him, man. When he comes back, that's a stain on him. See, trying to get the money back after he started. He just took the bag, man. How long he did this coming about that? His eyes were truly open. And so then it was even kind of on their thing. So that was said, yo, 19 was sent to destroy this man's kingdom. And the most eyes using his disease to destroy his kingdom according to what you're saying why should we go to the same man that's being destroyed and get his right? why? 
that does make that's that does He just that's clearly that. sold out. That nigga's and that's wicked, sad, man. And that's sad that he, you know he uh got. He's, it's sad that he's paid off, man. Because first and foremost, this currency, this fiat currency, about to go down a drain. Do, do you think he gonna have a spot in, in Esau's New World Order? Is that what they promising him or something like that? Like what the hell? Because if you understand the scriptures, you understand that um this is the fall of Esau's New Order of the Ages, man. As soon as it begins, it's gonna fall. It's gonna collapse. They're going in cap. They're, they're gonna going be in captivity. Yeah. So once all you know, once all hell break loose, once World Three pop off, our Lord and Savior gonna come back and deliver his elect through the nations. And you, and, and you selling out for basically that's, that's like you um buying a ticket on a Titanic. He, he bought a ticket for the Titanic, man. You know he's dancing and, and you know listening to music on the Titanic, thinking and knowing it's gonna sink. You know what I'm saying? Whether he know or not, but it's crazy. He's supposed to know because he's not going your watch, you know. Supposed to be out fighting prophecy. He's supposed to know what was happening, what's about to happen to this place. That nigga, he's out of there. That's all. Okay. To hell with that nigga, man. Yeah. But we do got to bring our scriptures on him. Yep. You know what I mean? It's because it's all about edifying, man. Okay. It's edifying all about edifying. The yeah. The Lord's sheep, man. So he ain't right. That guy is not right, man. Okay. It's obvious that he sold out. He took the purse. He took the bag. All right. That's game over for him. That's right. So we just marked him through the spirit, man. Now, let's get to, to get to this article I wanted to get. Let's change zones a bit. Right. There was an article out the bundle I wanted to read. Let me see if I can get this thing. 2021. Like we say, how much time do you think we got left here, man? For you to sell out, you know what I'm saying? And forsake the Lord's sheep. He, he just forsaken the little sheep, man. This place don't have much time left. No. He, 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 he so knows it's the time left, man. Yeah. He know that he had but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12, man. Yep. He know he got a short time. This guy, he was he's an uh, economic uh, advisor. Yeah. He's going into 2021. Okay. Son, he said, I hate to ruin a party, but 2021 will make 2020 look like a walk in a park. Mm. He said, for months, we have been told the new year will bring bright new dawn and everything will start to get better. Right. So are they reading this in a pub with your mates? He said, I hate to say this, but 2021 will make 2020 look like it's walking the park. I do not see the lockdown ending for weeks or maybe even months. And though winter, I cannot even begin to imagine what we'll do do to us because we know the top of like that. I think he's in he's in Britain. <clears throat> we see the day in tier four lockdown, man. Like they said, it's gonna be more lockdowns, man. And this time they're not gonna allow no movement because we already got FEMA. Um, somebody from Canada leaked FEMA plans already. Man. Yep. Okay. Everybody's gonna have to take the shot, man. That's the type of the pressure they're gonna bring down, and they're gonna transfer all property to the government. You're not oh. gonna own everything. That's communism, man. Our temptation right there. Yeah, that's the our temptation, man. That's a straight up communist society. It's a communist takeover, man. All right. Let me read on down. It says it was one thing being locked up in the spring when the sun shone and it was warm, forced hibernation. It's quite another to be forced in hibernation when the temperature never gets above one degree Celsius. I think that's about 33 degrees. He says, and the sky makes you think you are living in Tupperware box. I've been locked away for two weeks now and already I've drawn up plans to buy a 3D printer so I can make a gun. Many are pinning their hopes on the V, but I believe they'll only provide protection for a short period of time. But we're gonna say this, that shot ain't gonna provide no protection, man. Cause we already brought videos out on the, um, it changing your, um, your, your uh, D, man. Yeah, yeah. All right? Did you see that woman that got the bell palsy from taking it? The other woman dropped dead. <clears throat> Man, they trying to cover it up. I forgot her name. Rachel Dover or some shit like that? Yeah, yeah. Right? She took it. Then the woman is missing. Right? Some other kids that took it, I believe that Bill Gates gave it to and They can't walk no more. 
you know? That's crazy, man. I watched it on Double Seven um, um, like a couple hours ago. He, that man is that guy. That guy is. He's not even licensed to, to give a V, but he given it to he gave it to kids something like that, and now they can't walk. How they could take down all videos when we get on these things? He's not even an expert, and he's a face of the shit. He doesn't have his degree in anything. He doesn't have no degrees, man. Do you people realize that, man? And he's not a scientist. He's not a doctor. But he's the face of the whole entire operation. He's not even an expert, man. See? But they're taking out how she's talking about medical disinformation, man. Well, a man that doesn't even have no, um, no credentials in the medical field and the whole world listening to him. And him and his satanic wife was um, laughing. And they said, he said, yeah, the first one didn't get people attention. But the second one will. will. <laughs> <laughs> and him and his wife started laughing. Because at first her face was straight. Yeah. They, know, a little bit. And when she yeah, said, when she, and when when he he said, said the second that, one, like, they both started laughing. Evil, demonic ass grin, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, that's crazy. I, and why the anchor didn't call him out on that? Like, yo, what's so funny? Yeah, like, yeah. What are you guys laughing about? You see? Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Is there anything more? He said, I believe the damage to our economy as we continue to fight an unwinnable war will be catastrophic. <laughs> Which he's right. Oh, look, look, look. Shut down, man. Yeah. Businesses are shut down. All right? And I believe this is a school right here. Right? I believe it's John, John J. Like, not, like shut down. It's a little TV. This is a right here. Look, it's shut down. Shut down. And there's a whole lot of places in the city. Business shut down. They couldn't survive. They couldn't make it. See? They couldn't make it, man. You know what I mean? They had to lay off their staff, a lot of people out of jobs, man. You see, the government just trying to pass some some bugged out stimulus package. Which that stimulus package is a two-edged sword. Yeah. How is it a two-edged sword? <laughs> the more money they print out of nothing, that divides the currency even more. And that's gonna bring forth hyperinflation. That's hyperinflation, man. That's hyperinflation. And, that, and that's gonna bring forth riots, looting, robbing, killing, stealing. Yeah. So it wouldn't matter give you a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, the the dollar's gonna keep decreasing and it's the more you have of something, the less it's worth it, man. You see? That's all you know by design. See? So yeah, the, the economy ain't gonna bounce back. There's gonna be more restrictions, more tighter lockdowns. Okay, the very liberty that you have, the very little bit that's left, you're gonna lose it completely, man. That's right. And the government they're gonna take over everything, man. And you won't be able to move or travel unless you get defeated. Alright? And we know the chip is the master. Uh, right, right after that, you that's can the buy icing on the cake. Yeah. It's a chip. That's it. That's it, man. So how much time do you think we got left? Because the V will allow you to get inside of the store. You know what I'm saying? But to purchase, you gotta have that shit. The market of peace. You don't need it. Because the, um, the, it's gonna be a cashless society. You know? The dollar's gonna be done away with it. What is it? It's gonna be pumping out so much money. You know what I'm saying? Can they get rid of the currency? They're gonna bring forth the digital currency and they're gonna form a chip. So if you go to a store and you still have some cash or some coins, they're not gonna take it. You know? They were like, listen, we can't take that. We're only taking the chip. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We're not taking cars no more. We're not taking cash, no coins. We're taking that chip. You can't have that chip. chip. You cannot buy. You cannot sell. You cannot have a business. You know? And that's all a part of Esau's plans for the new order of the ages. It's going to back your dollar bill. Novus Ordo Supreme. Yeah. It's a quarter, however yeah. you pronounce it. Yeah. I always forget how to pronounce it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That means new order of the ages, man. New order of the ages. He always wanted that. His quote unquote founding fathers, that was a plan from the jump. Yeah. Right? Going when they wrote that ridiculous constitution, that like we said, that was not for us. Yeah. Like the Negro wasn't in his mind, or the Native American wasn't in his mind when he wrote the Constitution. Alright? That's all that's a falsified document, man. It was See? literally in slavery when he wrote yeah, that. Yeah, when they wrote that. That, that, that. And they never believed in this shit, man. Like the Constitution, the Second Amendment say you have the right to bear arms. You can't come out here with no guns, man. We can't, we can't just bring a, a open open carry a gun out here in this state. You talking about like, yo, what you doing with that? We like, well, the Second Amendment says I have the right to bear arms. They're going to like take your gun away. 
I'm gonna put your hands behind your back and lock your ass up, man. They'll, they'll come at a Jake Gunn's yeah. drawing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He can't say, oh, the Second Amendment, they gonna shoot his ass, man. Uh -huh. So that shit is all BS, man. Okay? And Obama had passed, I remember, the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, and uh, the NDRP, National Defense Resource Dependence, and it pretty much destroys your fourth, fifth, sixth amendment right mm -hmm. against illegal search and procedures, if, um, uh, uh, the right to a public and a speedy trial. When they, when they bring it home from martial law, they ain't gonna be no trials. Okay, the military takes over, so that document is suspended in the time of a national emergency. You see?